New this morning, an investigation is underway in Columbus after police body cam footage goes viral. In it, officers can be heard making comments that appear to victim blame an 11 year old girl after her dad called police for help. Kayla Michael from our sister station in Columbus has more on this developing story. Just before 7 p.m. on September 14th, Columbus police dispatchers received a call from a concerned father after going on his 11-year-old daughter's cell phone. I found some text messages on there from somebody that I know to be it's a grown man. And um, I do believe it's somebody that she, he's already got her to send um, her, him inappropriate pictures of her. And I didn't know if um, you know, we just have somebody out here, maybe they could look at the phone, maybe he could get caught. I don't know if they could do something about it. Okay, hold on. He sent her photos or she sent him photos? Oh, both. Two Columbus police officers responded to that home more than four hours later. Shortly after, the man who called answered the door. This is the interaction that has now gone viral. It was sent to us by Columbus police who have redacted the video of the conversation but left the audio in place. I like to go back now. It's a sweet house Well, it still happened now, right? Yeah, yeah, I just, um, the whole point, I just wanted you guys to go over and talk to her. And I saw her realize what this was, I mean, Reality is how much she has hard to do about it. I mean, she could probably get charged with child porn. Oh, she can? Mm -hmm. she's, she's creating it, right? No matter. She's still making porn. No, she's not. She's being nippy with it by grow ass and doll. Is she that. taking pictures now? Yes, I don't know. Okay. She's back. Are you serious? As those two officers walk away, one makes a comment. She's taking pictures of herself naked. She's creating child porn. Yep. Is that wrong? Nope. I spoke with Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryan today on camera for the first time since the incident. Every victim of crime deserves to be treated with dignity, compassion, and decency. What I saw in that video did not reflect those actions. Bryan says as soon as she heard about the incident, an officer reached out to the family to apologize and reassure that father they would investigate. I've said from the beginning since I've come here, if you're doing the right things for the right reason, I'm going to back you and make sure that I have your back. If you do the wrong things, I'm going to hold you accountable. She says CPD is looking at ways to ensure officers are prepared so something like this does not happen again. The incident is now being investigated by the inspector general's office. Chief Bryan says both of the officers involved are still on active duty. The department is waiting for the inspector general to finish their investigation to determine what happens next.